Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here. Sit down with me and let's study the Bible together. This week, we're studying Psalm 57. You know, this is what we do here at Daily Dose Radio. It's five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. And do not be deceived by what happened yesterday, because yesterday it went about seven minutes. So we'll try to keep it within the five minutes today. And today we've got a dandy, we have a sailor right smack in the middle of our verses today. I'm going to read verses three and four. Now, just as a review, you remember that the introduction tells us that this was when David was fleeing from before Saul, and he's in the cave. And this cave is the cave of En Gedi. Well, it's not of En Gedi, but it's in that area. En Gedi is an area. And so there's a cave there. Saul goes in to go to the restroom. David and his men are hiding from Saul and his men. They didn't know this would be the cave that Saul picked to do his business, but that's what happened. You can go to 1 Samuel chapter 24 and read the entire story. And so David begins this psalm, no doubt this entire experience, you know, it's weighing on him. Because he says, be merciful unto me, O God. That's the very first phrase. It's just like what we had in 56. It's what we have again here in 57. O God, be merciful. A theme here in Psalm 57. And then today we have this. He shall send from heaven... And save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Now there you have verses 3 and 4. And again, we have another one of those pieces that comes over to us from Psalm 56, and that is this idea of being swallowed up. You remember back in Psalm 56, he talked about the man that wanted to swallow him up and the men who wanted to swallow him up. Well, that Saul, you know, is trying to find David. He wants to destroy him. Can't find him. And you'll notice what David says here. He shall sin from heaven. Who's the he? Well, that's none other than the Lord. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. Now we're supposed to pause a moment and think about that. God's going to save. He's going to send from heaven. Then we have the second half of, of three. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Okay. So God shall send. God shall send. We have it twice. He shall send from heaven. God shall send forth, there in the second half, his mercy and his truth. So salvation, mercy, and truth, God is going to send from the reproach of this man who wants to swallow David up. And then you'll notice he says, my soul is among lions. (laughs) Now, you praying a prayer and confessing this confession, God will do this. He is going to send me salvation, mercy, and truth. But right now, I'm among the lions. My soul is among the lions. This reminds us of Daniel, doesn't it? When he was among the lions, God sent salvation, mercy, and truth. Hurry up, because these guys want to kill me. I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongue a sharp sword. Yeah, David is in a, a hurtful position, but notice how much faith he has. He's calling out to God for mercy. In verse 1, again in verse 3, he's asking God to send from heaven salvation, mercy, and truth. And you know what? Even in the midst of lions, uh, God is going to do that work for him. He's going to deliver him. He's going to deliver him from the hand of Saul. Go back and look at 1 Samuel 24. Notice how the Lord does the delivering work. All right, I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 5 and 6 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. 
Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.